Let's talk a little bit about the lyrical process and um, um, whether this stuff was actually written under all of the circumstances of the last year or not, but uh, there seems to be um, a theme through quite a number of the songs of destruction and rebirth. Perhaps we begin with uh, Empire of Ashes. Yeah, well, I mean, this is obviously a very interesting time in the world to be putting that song out. Um, it does sort of, it certainly speaks to destruction and particularly the destructive power of, of the sort of megalomaniacs who often end up in charge and, uh, and kind of the, the paradox that people become so obsessed with power that they're willing to destroy the thing that they're trying to get hold of. And at the point that they actually inherit that position, there's nothing left. So Empire of Ashes sort of speaks to the idea that this sort of obsession with power that often results in, you know, destroying the very um, building blocks of our society. I've asked this question of others before. You guys and I have just discussed this sort of subject matter, but you have visited serious subjects before in your lyrical content, how do you keep the discussion factual and serious and, and yet still make it like a, a, a cool rock and roll song? I mean, I think obviously with rock music, you're just writing what you feel, you know, we're not necessarily going to the library to study ever, every word ever written on a subject before sort of starting the first verse, but I think it is a good thing in general for, you know, humans and our society to be well informed anyway, you know, to know what's going on, to know what's going on in your own country and also around the world, you know? So I guess we just generally try and be, you know, aware of, of different things that are happening and then certain things move you to write music. 